Guys, we're about to do dyno run number 42 on this. We've tried all kinds of different modifications on it. Uh, this is my personal race bike, so we went back to the standard porting with a 89 and a half bore, which makes it a 497. The head is stock. The exhaust is an FMF gnarly with a power core, two silencer, our silencer of choice. It has an extra resistor on the factory stator and uh, to help it, it helps it start a little bit I don't know if it really helps with the horsepower but it's a stock stator key and PWK air striker 178 main 52 pilot one and a half turns out in the air screw this has a uh, known hop-up mod that uh, a lot of guys like it's a moto tocinary B force 2 reed valve with a Millar racing race engineer, you can see the MRE um, spacer. It's about, I don't know, maybe almost four eighths of an inch, maybe three sixteenths, four eighths. Uh, Billet aluminum, polished aluminum spacer. 52 tooth rear sprocket, 128-18 Sport Demon tire. Uh, fuel is T2, yep. factory mix, synthetic, leaded. Oxygenated fuel, engine ice, engine coolant, twin air filter, brand new top end, three 10 minute heat cycles, ready to rumble. Boy, she sounds crisp. Torque rating that high on the other pull of pull, pull. no, I'm, something went crazy with the torque. The torque went up, huh? Yeah, let's see how the line. We're gonna try one more thing just for the old college try. We're gonna put a stock pipe on and see what it's doing. But well, with multiple different configurations, um, we've been putting up about the same, regardless of the pipe or, or carb, just under 52 horse or just over 51. 51.4 to 52, 52.27 was the most we pulled on it, right? Is that about right? 50. That's the high pull. You can see uh, 52.27. That was. That was with all the different parts on it, right? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. That's what you get with a 500. And the torque, um, as you can see, is substantially more than a 454 stroke. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We got some more tricks up our sleeve here. We're going to try a different pipe.